Welcome back to John's Films, your home for DaVinci Resolve hardware recommendations. As you've probably seen in your feed, RTX 3080 blowing up. Yesterday was all of the Founders Edition, today is all third-party boards, the NDAs have dropped, and benchmarks are everywhere. We had a friend of the channel at A2K, a Singapore-based tech channel, get their hands on a 3080 and run benchmarks, not only for their video, go check it out right up there, but also to enable us to understand the performance inside DaVinci Resolve. Let's go see what it looks like. A2K did a huge favor for us, ran three CPU configurations, two GPU configurations. CPUs are an AMD Ryzen 3800 XT at stock, a Intel 10700K at stock, and an Intel 10700K at all-core overclock 5.1 gigahertz. We have two GPUs, an NVIDIA 2080 Super Founders Edition, and the new Asus Tough RTX 3080 10 gaming card with three coolers, keeping it cool, which means you're able to run at faster clock speeds longer. Finally, we're running on DaVinci Resolve 16.2 as our test bed. So some considerations before we get into it. We really only care about the GPU today. So I'm going to extract the tests that really show the difference between the GPU, where the GPU is executed, to get the CPU rendering times out of the noise. The next thing I'm gonna do is really remind you we're looking at raster and 3D work. We have no ray tracing work in this test, we have no tensor cores in this test, and that's an added benefit of the 3080, which will make it much faster in real life if you have Studio Edition to Resolve and you're using some of those effects. With that, let's get on to the testing. All test results are the Puget Benchmark I've run before. You see about a 20% uptick overall. So we're done, right? That's not the whole story. These scores heavily lean on the CPU that's running them, and that's why you see a difference between the different CPUs that run it. So for us, we need to look more in depth at the GPU-related scores. Our GPUs are the two stacked rows. Those are the average of the three CPUs. We'll start with the 4K Cinema Raw Lite, which is encoded by the CPU, but all of the effects are managed by the GPU. So I've extracted the temporal noise reduction and blur and tilt and shift effects and shown only the results for those. And we see roughly 50% increase in throughput of our render footage with the 3080 over the 2080 Super. That holds true until we get to ProRes 444, where we see a little bit more of a degradation, and it's going to be because the bit depth of the color requires more work inside the CPU, and I think that's probably what slowed it down more than necessarily the GPU, as the GPU was still handling the same effects. The 4K Red, you can see we handled the decode and the debayer back in the GPU, and that drove what is still about a 50% or more uptick in performance. The overall read here on the DaVinci Resolve 3080 is that your GPU accelerated effects, that is for studio, are going to be accelerated maybe 50%. I'd be really excited to see some tests and we'll run them in the future on this channel for our tensor core work that we do with the neural engine inside DaVinci Resolve, things like a optical flow speed warp, as well as super scaling and upscaling. Overall, a great result wonderful to see out of the 3080 and i'm looking forward to that 3090 hopefully in the next few weeks and a big thank you again to a2k for running the benchmarks for us so that we can do analysis and understand exactly what we can expect out of an rtx 3080 in davinci resolve thank you all for watching if this has been helpful feel free to buy me a coffee link below otherwise subscribe come back for more we're going to have more analysis on the upcoming rtx 3000 series as well as the new amd graphics cards Thanks for watching and have a great day.